are watching Janelle Animal's YouTube channel. Matteo Guidicelli punches bodyguard during civil wedding with Sarah Heronimo, police said. The supposed civil wedding rights of Matteo Guidicelli to actress singer Sarah Heronimo turned sour after he reportedly punches a bodyguard. The gig police confirmed that the 29-year-old actor reportedly punched Jerry Tamara, Heronimo's bodyguard, on Thursday night. The incident occurred inside a luxury hotel in Bonifacio, Global City, in the middle of the civil wedding rites of the celebrity couple. According to the police report, Tamara reported the incident Friday dawn, saying that Gidicelli punched him in the throat upon learning that Heronimo's mother, Divine, arrived unexpectedly, unexpectedly during the ceremony. The bodyguard said Gidicelli punched him around 11 p.m. because he was the one who told the mother of the Tala singers that the wedding was set that night. She apparently did not know about the wedding ceremony and wanted to talk to her 31-year-old daughter about it. Police said Tamara brought with him a temporary medical certificate as proof of his injury, but refused to file a case against the upcoming Pedro Penduco star. There have been reports, earlier reports, that Heronimo's mommy divine did not approve of her daughter's relationship with Guidicelli, an actor turned army reservist. The longtime celebrity couple, nicknamed Ash Matt, announced their engagement in November 2019. The couple confirmed their, their relationship in 2014. This is according to CNN Philippines. And according to ABS-CBN, Matteo Guidicelli punches a man during wedding with Sarah G. Police report. A close-in security detail of Sarah Hieronimo reported to the police that Matteo Guidicelli punched him in an altercation during the civil wedding of the celebrity couple in Taguig City on Thursday night, February 20. According to ABS-CBN News, MJ Felipe, Tamara filed a blotter at 3.27 at a.m. on February 21 at the police community precinct number 7 in Taguig. According to the blotter, the incident happened at the Shangri-La at the, at the, uh, Shangri at the Fort Hotel in Bonifacio Global City at around 11 p.m., where the, the civil wedding ceremony was held. Tamara narrated that the bride's mother arrived unexpectedly, asking for a moment to talk to her daughter since she was not informed about the wedding. Tamara added that Kiticelli confronted and accused him of leaking the information to Heronimo's mother. No case was filed yet against Gidicelli. Quoting a reliable source, Felipe also reported that both Heronimo and Gidicelli are okay after the incident. Heronimo, 31, and Gidicelli, 29, first confirmed re their relationship in 2014 after a nearly a year of being a couple. While they are among the, among the most visible stars in showbiz, Heronimo and Guidicelli have largely kept their relationship low profile. Their engagement, for instance, was belatedly revealed in November 2019, about a year after the actual proposal happened, according to the actor's younger brother, Paolo. Guidicelli is one of three children of Gianluca Guidicelli, an Italian, and Glenn Fernan, a Filipino. Heronimo is a third of four siblings and is the only one among them who is in the limelight. Even prior to their wedding, Heronimo has become a close member of the Guidicelli family. Notably, she was the maid of honor of Guidicelli's sister, Georgia, when she got married in December 2019. In a public letter to Heronimo's parents after the, the announcement of the engagement, Gidicelli said he is extremely excited to start my own family with the love of my life. 
He assured Delphine and Divine, who are known to be fiercely protective of their daughter, that he will give Sarah a happy life with the best of my capabilities. Mahal na mahal ko po si Sarah, mahal ko din po kayong magulang niya at mga kapatid niya, Gideceli said at the time. Hangat ko po na maging isang pamilya tayo, pangako ko po na alagaan ko si Sarah na kapareho ng pangaalagaan niyo sa kanya. According to Rappler, Sarah Geronimo and Matteo Gideceli are married according to reports. Long-time couple Sarah Eronimo and Matteo Gidicelli are now husband and wife, according to multiple sources, including a body of the Eronimo family who reported to the police that the groom punched him during the ceremony. ABS-CBN reporter MJ Felipe confirmed Sarah and Matteo's union on Twitter on Fridays, February 21. MJ also tweeted that the newlyweds were both okay. The civil wedding took place at Shangri-La at the Fort in Bonifacio Global City late evening on Thursday, February 20. What was meant to be a low-key event turned dramatic when Sarah's mother, Divine Geronimo, unexpectedly turned up and asked to speak to her daughter. Divine apparently didn't know that the wedding was going to take place. Mateo then reportedly accused bodyguard Jerry Tamara of leaking details of the wedding to Sarah's parents before punching Tamara in the neck. The gig police are waiting for Tamara to file a formal complaint against the bridge group. Mateo, 29, and Sarah, 31, had reportedly been engaged for a year when they announced their engagement in November 2019. Shortly after their announcement, Panteo posted an open message addressed to Sarah's parents, assuring them that he loved and he will take care of Sarah, and expressing his hope that one day they will be one family. Tito Delphine and Tito Divine, if there had been hard feelings or events that were not supposed to happen in the past, I humbly apologize. I assure you that I will give Sarah a happy life with the best of my capabilities, with pure, honest love and respect, he said in the post. We wish to move forward with our life plans and begin this new, this brand new chapter of our lives. Sarah and Mateo have been together since 2014. Family is my number one priority in the next chapter of my life. I'm extremely excited to start my own family with the love of my life, my fiancé, Sarah G. I deeply thank my parents for teaching me the values of a solid family. Life will never be perfect, but what matters is that we learn, grow, and improve until it is our time to take over. My father has been my best example. He is my mentor, my solid rock. Papa and Mama's values, passion, and selfless attitude has taught my siblings and me a lot and has molded us to become what we are today. One day, I pray I will do the same for my own family. I'm very blessed and honored that my parents welcome Sarah to our humble family like another daughter. My sister and little brother loves her the same way. Knowing she is loved and accepted in the family simply fills up my heart with joy. People might be thinking that our relationship has been smooth sailing, but let me tell you, it hasn't been easy. Sarah has been tough. I saw her grow, mature, and develop into an independent, beautiful woman that I am extremely proud of. My love, thank you. I dream that one day both our families will sit around the dinner table and simply celebrate life. Love, happiness, joy, and life must always be celebrated. Tito Delphine and Tito Divine, there have been hard feelings or events that were not supposed to happen in the past. I humbly apologize. I assure you that I will give Sarah a happy life with the best of my capabilities, with pure, honest love and respect. We wish to move forward with our life plans and begin this brand new chapter of our life. Mahal na mahal ko po si Sarah. Mahal ko din po kayong magulang niya at mga kapatid niya. Hangad ko po na maging isang pamilya tayo. 
pangako ko po na alagaan ko sa nakapareho ng mga alaga niyo sa kanya. Music